Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to secure Azure Web App. As we all know, Azure App Service provides a highly scalable self-patching web hosting service. And in this video we will discuss how to create, upload or import a private certificate or a public certificate into App Service. I might not be able to complete the full labs because I don't have uh, private certificates or private or public certificate, but I'll show you the process. how we can do it and the options that are required. So there are some prerequisites. We should create an app service app first. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. Let me click on search and I'll do web app. You see app services. You can do it from here or you can click on create a resource. You go to the web option. You see the web app option. You click on it, create. You can do it from here as well. I have a pay as you go subscription. We will create a new resource group. You can name it anything. You give the name of a web app. code I will do dot net this 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 ASP dot net I'll do ASP dot net for this version select this you can select any region Standard S1 plan, you can change the plan as well. Okay, let's go with this one. I am not going with any zone redundancy. I'm disabling continuous deployment. For networking, I will I'm not using any network injection. For monitoring, I'm going with the defaults wherein I'll do app insights to know I can enable it later as well. I'm not using any tags. Review create and I'll hit create. I'll pause the video and come back. My deployment is complete. I'm going to go to resource. This is the web app that I've created. Okay. Now, first option is to uh, add a private certificate and there are some requirements associated with that for a private certificate make sure that you have all the requirements from the app services which are that your uh, uh, the exported certificate should be exported as a pfx file and encrypting using triple disk you should contain a private key at least 2048 bits long you should contain all intermediate certificates in the root certificate in the certificate chain. Our web app is done. You have the web app up and running and make sure that you have at least the uh, plan which is 1.7 gigs of memory and 100 total uh, ACU, right? And there are options wherein you can create a free management certificate. Right. The free app service uh, managed certificate is a turnkey solution for securing the custom DNS name in app services. So if I go to the uh, custom binding here, you see here. So the default name for my app service is this. Right. So if I'll browse it. I'll see the default page, right? Because I've not uploaded any content. But if I want to add a domain name here, add a custom domain name, I'll add a custom domain name and I should be able to validate it, right? So when I do this, I do the 
TLS SSL settings as well. You see the private key certificate, private key cert, and this is how you import an app certificate here, right? When you import an app certificate, your traffic goes to HTTPS, right? And I don't have uh, many private certificates here. If you would have, you can uh, see the notifications for those private key certificates. And within the portal, you can buy certificate as well. Right, so app service certificates allows you to purchase and manage SSL certificates within minutes. Right, so you can secure one web app, one web app when you buy it from within the app services. You can secure one web app in its custom domains using wildcard SSL. But the free certificate that you will use to demo it does not support the wildcard certificate. And it does not support usage as a client certificate by using the certificate thumbprint. And it does not support private DNS. It is not exportable. It is not supported on app service environments. Right. So if you want to buy it, you click on here. It will take you to this portal within Azure. So this is create app service certificate. So let's say if I select the existing certificate sorry resource group six to seventy dollars an year C can be used with one domain wildcard certificate is three hundred dollars an year can be used with multiple domains so that is seventy dollars an year right if you want to purchase it from within this portal you can do it right and if i go here See the create app service manage certificate. Create a certificate that can be used for SSL binding for the selected domain. App service managed certificates are free of cost and fully managed by app services to maintain the safety and security of your site at the highest level. But to use it, you have to add a custom domain first. So you go into the custom domain. You add a custom domain here. Let's say I add this. Right. Because I have not purchased this domain, I will not be able to verify that I own this domain. Right. Otherwise, I would have added facebook.com, but I don't own facebook.com and that's the reason why I'll not be able to validate it. So when you add a custom domain here, you make sure that you are able to validate it. After you validate it, you go to the TLS SSL settings, you go to the private key certificates, you create an app service managed certificate that will be free of cost and you'll be able to add it, right? And then you import an app service certificate. Now, when you create an app service managed certificate from uh, Azure, it takes care of the purchase from GoDaddy. It performs the domain verification of the certificate. It will maintain the certificate in uh, Azure Key Vault. It will manage the certificate renewal. It will synchronize the certificate automatically with the imported copies in app service apps. which is option this. If you want to do it, it will handle all those things, purchasing the certificate from the GoDaddy, renewal, managing, updating, everything. And then let's say you bought a certificate from here, it will store the certificate in the Azure Key Vault. Right? So when you uh, store that, you need to import that certificate into the Key Vault for secure administration. And then in the key vault status, it will show you the repo, key vault repository to create a new vault or choose an existing vault if you choose to create a new vault. And in the vault, your certificate will be stored and then you'll have to verify the domain ownership and then when, and then you'll assign that certificate to an app service. And when you come back here under private key certificate, you will, uh, the option import key vault certificate, right? When you will open it, it will list the key vault that you created and you stored your certificate. And then you will be able to 
select that certificate and import that certificate from Key Vault into your web app. All right. And that is how you can secure your web app using a TLS SSL certificate. After that, there are operations wherein you have to manage your app service certificates. If you deploy the app service certificate from here, you will get an option to rekey the certificate. You will get an option to export the certificate. You can do it through the portal. You can do it through the Azure CLI. And then you will also have an option to delay the certificate. And you, then you can automate all of these tasks with the Azure CLI scripts. Right. I hope this was informative to all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.